Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I created the 3D lava lamp nails before, and everybody was saying about how cool would it be if they could move. So, here we go. We've got some moving animal print lava lamp nails. Um, so, I'm coming in, I've stuck my tip on. Um, I'm using my little finger from Flexi Finger, which I purchased from Aces and Dolls. So I've stuck my tip on and I'm just coming in with small beads and building a bit of a wall around the edges. Because I'm going to come in with a another tip and I'm going to glue that in on top. So when you glue it on top, it kind of sits above the nail. Um... So when you put your oil and your your food colouring in, you'll have a, like a nice little pocket that it'll be able to move quite freely in. So you're just going to do this just around the sides um, and go up onto the actual nail just so that you've you've got an, um, you've got room to play. So if you if you put your tip up a bit higher than you normally would it's fine so I'm coming in with some glue and I'm going to press my other nail right on top the trick here which is taking me quite a few attempts to do is so on the actual nail I've used a size 5 tip and when you come in with your next tip use a size smaller because otherwise if you don't it ends up so bulky and yeah they just look nasty so always use a size smaller on the top see as i start putting all of this acrylic on top it does start to look bulky but where you've built that free edge you're going to file most of that away anyway so you're going to be it will come out really slim so you just want to go around and fill all the gaps between all of well, the tip and your little side wall just so you don't get no leakage which luckily I haven't actually had <laughs> and once you've done that part you're gonna get your uh, baby oil and food colour in I've used food colouring gel so I've had to mix that with water um, but I do find that if you use the food colouring in a little bottle which is like really runny um, it kind of dyes the the baby oil maybe it's just me I don't know so I've just used food colouring gel so you can use these little syringes um, you can use a pipette, I suppose, as well, but that does get a bit messy. So, obviously, pop your oil in first, and then put your food colouring in. And then, to close it off, get a bead of clear. And I let my bead sit on my brush for a few few seconds just before I put it on, because I didn't want it to... I didn't want to put it on for it to run all inside of that well. So, and then you're just going to come in and fill the rest of the nail, the cuticle area, build your apex. And that part's done. They're actually really easier to do than you think. Once you've, once you've cracked it, which, as, a, as I said, it took me a few attempts. And I was about to give up on them, but... <laughs> I sat there the other night and I was like, yep, I'm going to crack it. And I've done it. So once you're happy with your nail, do a bit of taps. Make sure your uh, liquid's moving around. And then I'm just coming in with my key file. And just take that bulk up. And as you'll see, now that I'm filing it, because you've got like two strips down either side, you can go really close and you can get it nice and thin. 
So yeah, if you do do a liquid nail, just remember to use a smaller tip on top. So I'm just going to finish it off by buffing it. Get rid of any marks and grooves from your hand file. Brush it off. And then I'm going to come in with painting. And this one I'm doing leopard print. So all of the gel polishes I'm using are from Glitter Bells. Let me try this a minute. I can't actually remember which ones I've used. Obviously I know this one is white gloss. And then I use black gloss. Um, I want to say hula hoop maybe. But I'll link all of those in the description. But by now everybody should know how to do leopard print. So I'll try to go for the more realistic effect. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave you to watch me create this and I'll catch you up at the end. I know I said that I'd catch up at the end, but I thought I'd just come in and say that I was trying to get a realistic kind of effect because normally when I could, when I do leopard print, I go for the easy option and I use a uh, cocktail stick and I dab it on. But I thought I'd, if I'm going extreme, I might as well push myself to the limits and try the whole stripey kind of method. Um, which actually is a nicer looking version than when I do it with a cocktail stick. So you just want to really lightly feather your brush around your, your blobs of brown or whatever colour you're using.
And once your leopard print is done, it's time to top coat. Everybody loves top coat. So I'm doing the front and I'm doing underneath purely because it's clear and it needs that nice see through effect. So this is the nail once it's complete. Obviously I did do a full collection just because I thought it, I needed to go a bit crazy with different animal prints. So this is what it looked like. I, was, I think I was most happiest with this one. The green cow print one was driving me crazy. I don't know whether it's because it's a, such a small nail but the, mm. the lava was not playing ball. But here we go, here's the uh, finished set, I hope you all enjoyed watching me create it, don't forget if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, like, share, leave me a comment and I'll catch you in the next one, thank you, bye.